Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you got a bad coolant temperature sensor? The first sign that you know your coolant temperature sensor is failing, obviously, is going to be a check engine light and you're going to get a coolant temperature sensor code. When the check engine light is turned on and you're getting that code, obviously, your coolant temperature sensor is not functioning properly and it's out of specification. When the coolant temperature sensor is out of spec, usually it's caused by a buildup of mid-row inside the cooling system. Or you could have connection issue or wire issue. Usually the coolant temperature sensor is mounted on the cylinder head or it could be mounted somewhere on the cooling system such as the bypass hose uh, area. It's always exposed to engine heat. So it, it's going to make these wires become extremely brittle and break. When that happens, it can cause an open or shorter circuit. The next common sign that you know your coolant temperature sensor is failing is going to be overheating. The purpose of the coolant temperature sensor is to send data to the computer and the computer is going to use this information to activate the uh, cooling fan. When the computer is receiving incorrect data, the cooling fan will not activate therefore cause overheating, especially at idle. However, the coolant temperature sensor does not always activate the uh, radiator fan. On some vehicle, the cooling system is equipped with a fan switch. So basically the fan switch is what's going to activate the uh, radiator fan. The fan switch is going to work exactly the same way as the coolant temperature sensor and activate that radiator fan. The next sign is going to be the engine is running rich. If the coolant temperature sensor is reporting the incorrect data to the computer, it can cause the computer to spray more fuel than it should. One thing drivers are going to notice is going to be poor fuel economy and you're also going to notice black smoke coming out of the tailpipe. The next sign is going to be hard start or long crank time. If the coolant temperature sensor is reporting incorrect data to the computer, it can throw off the uh, air and fuel ratio. If air and fuel ratio is completely off, again, it's going to cause that incorrect fuel that should be sprayed into the engine and it's going to cause that long crank time. The next sign is going to be stalling. For example, if the coolant temperature sensor is sending the incorrect data to the computer, the computer may actually spray too much fuel. When it sprays too much fuel, it can actually wet the spark plug and cause that poor combustion. When you have poor combustion, it can cause an engine misfire or stalling. The next sign is going to be your temperature gauge showing false reading. For example, let's just say you've been driving around for a while and your engine's already warmed up and your temperature gauge shows that it's still at cold, there's a good chance that coolant temperature sensor is faulty or either that or there's a break somewhere in the uh, in the wires. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.